He was totally extraordinary, but also very, very smart and intelligent. And of course, it was clear, I suppose, to people encountering the aggressive side of my father that they were dealing with someone who generated huge aggression. As the years went on, I felt that I should recount his life in a factual film. Over two decades, a succession of surprises and shocks were to follow about him and his loved ones, providing even more twists and turns than his dramatic book, and at the same time, creating an aura of mystery about this man, my father. When the fall of communism came about quite suddenly in 1991, my father at last had the opportunity of going to Russia and revisiting his turbulent past. He always wanted the proofs of what had happened to him, since a few cynics had doubted his book in 1980, and he wanted to find some of those he had left behind. I went with him in 1992 to film his story. The trip was to prove a nerve-wracking one, not only because Russia was in a state of tension, but because my father was stressed by the first surprise we got, that he was still on the wanted list as an international spy. This was a consequence of a chain of events stretching back to 1939, when he tried to escape to the free world and was caught. <laughs> 